Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, I'll be using Acon Digital Devo 83 to reduce the reverb level in a variety of different dialogue recordings. I've got four of them on the track. I'm going to run it as an audio suite plugin and render it, but you can also run it as a real-time plugin. Here's the first piece of audio without any processing. That's where, for us, we're really living up to our vision of getting more drones in the air, delivering more things, and really transforming the logistics system we have now into one that's worthy of the next generation. So obviously, as you can hear, there's a lot of reverb there, way more than you would ideally have on an interview. So let's use Deverberate 3 to see what we can do. One of the good things about this is that it actually estimates a reverb automatically. So even if you choose not to make any changes to the settings, it's still going to give you a very good result. Here's what I mean. That's where for us, we're really living up to our vision of getting more drones in the air, delivering more things. And Now, maybe that's a little bit much. I like to adjust the sensitivity. So if I feel that it's processing it just a little bit too much, I'll just reduce the sensitivity. So let's preview this. That's where for us, we're really living up to our vision of getting more drones in the air, delivering more things. And Pretty good result. Now, you can actually listen to the difference. So this is what you're going to be taking out as opposed to what you're keeping. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. So ideally, I'm trying to strike a balance where I'm taking out as much reverberation as I choose to take out whilst leaving the voice intact. I think that's good. So let's render that and then take a listen to the finished result. That's where for us, we're really living up to our vision of getting more drones in the air, delivering more things and really transforming the logistics system we have now into one that's worthy of the next generation. Okay, very good. So let's move on to the next one. This was recorded in a lab. Sounds like this. An interesting fact about this building is that it's designed in such a way that when looked from above, it looks like a computer chip. Okay. So we could once again use the settings automatically, but I just want to have a look at another option here. In addition to the sensitivity control, two other things which govern the overall balance are, of course, these two controls here, the dry level and the reverb level. An interesting fact about this building is that it's designed in such a way that when looked from above, it looks like a computer chip. Okay. Let's get in there. An interesting fact about this building is that it's designed in such a way that when looked from above, it looks like a computer chip. I think that's pretty good. Let's just hear it before, and then I'll render it and we'll hear the after. An interesting fact about this building is that it's designed in such a way that when looked from above, it looks like a computer chip. Okay, there's obviously some background noise there, but we we're just focusing on the reverb at the moment. So here's the rendered version with reduced reverb. An interesting fact about this building is that it's designed in such a way that when looked from above, it looks like a computer chip. Great. Okay, let's move to the next example. So this is a tile bathroom, and I'm just going to switch the reverb off in the plugin. So before we preview it there, let's just hear the raw recording. Hello, this is the sound of me speaking in a bathroom. It has a tile floor, tile walls, and as you can hear, it's very reflective. Okay, so once again, let's just preview it straight off. Hello, this is the sound of me speaking in a bathroom. It has a tiled floor. Okay, so that's perhaps processing it a little too much, so I'm going to reduce the sensitivity, but something else you can do is actually estimate the early reflections impulse response. And this works by clicking the learn button, previewing a segment of it. Hello, this is the sound of me speaking in a bathroom. Whilst the learn button's on, it's not actually going to process the early reflections, but when you deactivate it, that will now be processing those earlier parts of the reverberation. Now, in my experience with this, it's kind of 50-50. Having this on can, on occasions, make a great improvement, but it's not always necessary, so experiment with it. Let's see, in this example, if it's advantageous or not. Hello, this is the sound of me speaking in a bathroom. It has a tiled floor, tiled walls, and as you can hear, it's very reflective. If you feel that there are some artifacts, you can smooth them with this spectral smoothing percentage control here. And also, if you want to emphasize or de-emphasize the frequencies which are being affected by the plugin, we can go to the emphasis control here. And this is kind of, it's not to be confused with an EQ. This is a sensitivity control, which is obviously frequency specific. So if I was increasing the sensitivity in the higher frequencies, that means there's going to be more processing in that frequency range. Conversely, at the bottom end, if I felt it didn't really need to reduce the reverb in that range, I could drop that down a little bit. So let me just flatten this one more time and we'll do this as we go. Hello, this is the sound of me speaking in a bathroom. It has a tiled floor, tiled walls, and as you can hear, it's very reflective. Okay, pretty good. Here's the before. Hello, this is the sound of me speaking in a bathroom. It has a tiled floor, tiled walls, and as you can hear, 
it's very reflective. And I'm just going to reduce the sensitivity a little bit and render this, and then let's see what the result is. Hello, this is the sound of me speaking in a bathroom. It has a tiled floor, tiled walls, and as you can hear, it's very reflective. I'm just going to undo that actually, just to experiment. Let's try this without the early reflections. I'm going to render this once more, see what we get. Hello, this is the sound of me speaking in a bathroom. It has a tiled floor, tiled walls, and as you can hear, it's very reflective. Okay, so in my opinion, that's probably better. The early reflections control is something that you really do have to experiment with. In my experience, if you can hear a distinct echo, it's probably worth having it switched on. Otherwise, you might get a better result without it, but it's definitely worth being aware of. Let's just flatten these settings back to default. And now let's hear the final piece of audio, which we're going to process. I was in college. I was going to school at Texas State University. I was bartending at a bar um, in the square called Dillinger's. Okay. I don't know why people record audio in such bad sounding rooms, but it happens and I regularly receive things like this. So it's great to have something like Devoberate 3 to actually reduce this problem. So let's see what we can do with this one. I was in college. I was going to school at Texas State University. I was bartending at a bar um, in the square called Dillinger's. I was in college. I was going to school at Texas State University. I was bartending at a bar um, in the square. Sounds good to me. And I'm going to render this. And then once again, we'll take a listen to the finished result. I was in college. I was going to school at Texas State University. I was bartending at a bar um, in the square called Dillinger's. Okay, a very good result there. So that's reducing reverb in dialogue recordings using Acon Digital Deverberate 3. For more information, visit the Production Expert blog or head over to acondigital.com. Thanks for watching.